When I think about Joseph, I think of a man who honestly should have been at the end of his rope. He had such a privileged life, and in a moment he had it all taken away from him. And he found himself owned by somebody else, and a slave. And his life fell apart, and he was alone, and he was away from everybody and everything he knew. And at that point, it would be so easy to understand why Joseph would have taken the first chance he got to just make himself feel better and to have his needs met and just, you know, just throw it all away and say, my life did not turn out the way I wanted it to. I'm giving up and I'm just going to do what I want to do. But he didn't because he knew even where he was, God was still his father. And whatever sins he committed were sins against God and he wouldn't go there. And that's the Joseph legacy. He was willing to say no to temptation and sin that was around him. He was willing to stay pure and holy before God. And he wasn't willing to throw it away for temporary pleasures. And because of that, he was used mightily by God and he truly saved the world.